Hello there. Welcome to Seek Truth and Speak Truth. Hello. Thank you if you're watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, if you haven't, please do. Maybe give me a little bit more time to see if you would like to subscribe. Um, I've been very ill recently, so apologies for my my pale skin. Uh, I'm eating lots of vegetables though, so we're getting back to fighting fitness. I was supposed to be live on Friday with uh, Fight the Flat Earth, but unfortunately I had to pull out. I'm very sorry, um, and I would love the opportunity to come on the channel again. Uh, so yeah, bring it on, bring it on. Um, little episode today, um, taking a few notes, just things I'm learning along the way. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I'm still getting this message out there that the earth is not flat. Um, I'm an ex-flat earther. I was a flat earther for two and a half years. Uh, if you look back, I've now made about four, vid this will be my fourth video, I believe, as a ball earther or a realist. Um, and then about 19 before that as a flat earther. Uh, so please feel free, if you want to call me an actor or a shill, um, go and watch my videos. Uh, you'll know that I wasn't. I was a pure flat earther. I would sit ranting, saying there was no such thing as gravity, water can't stick to a spinning ball. Now I know that they are just ridiculous claims. Um, gravity exists. Water can stick to a spinning ball. Um... But, you know, people say spinning ball. It's not really like the Earth is massive, massive, massive. Um, and thanks to Conspiracy Cats, uh, like he stated, we spin half the speed of an hour hand on a clock. Um, forget the 1,000 miles an hour. You know, you know, if you were traveling that on Earth, it would be quick. But the Earth spinning at that speed is very, very slow. Um, it spins once in 24 hours. It's really slow. Um, I'm, uh, you may have mentioned or, or known that before I mentioned my girlfriend's son was a pilot, a uh, commercial airline pilot. Um, he's fully trained now, fully passed, and he'll f actually fly his first sort of full plane in January. And I used to say that he will not deny flat earth. Um, and that used to sort of back up my claims, really. But... I spoke to him the other day, um, and he still thought that I was a flat earther because he lives up north, but he came down, um, and I told him, obviously I was showing my newer videos, and he's a happy man, um, he just basically said that he, all along he just wanted to just laugh and say, no, what on earth are you on about, um, you know, all navigation is based upon a sphere, etc, etc, but at least he was, you know, well, I don't know, but yeah. He definitely knew the Earth wasn't flat, um, and he was even bringing up the sort of the jokey pilots at the minute. I think there's some on Instagram where they're just pretending to think the Earth is flat just to humour people. Um, but any pilot that you hear say the Earth is flat, they're just humouring you. Um, that's all they're doing. Um, they're just having a bit of fun to make their day <clears throat> even more fun. But um, one thing the he said to me was basically because obviously people say, oh, aeroplanes don't have to dip their nose, nose to follow the curve. But he was basically saying, say, uh, if some of your apparatus all broke down or whatever, he's probably speaking about a smaller plane. Um, but basically you would aim your, you would aim four degrees above the horizon. And as he explained, as the horizon is just constantly dropping, you will just constantly be following a perfect curve continuously which you don't have to adjust for um, because you're just naturally following four, de four degrees above the horizon and you're just aiming at the horizon which is continuously obviously dropping away from you um, there's no way if you flew four degrees above a, the horizon on a flat plane um, it would be impossible because the horizon should just go on you know the higher you go the further the horizon goes um, so then you would, you know, you'd kind of be climbing upward. So we live on a sphere, guys. Um, on a flat Earth map, um, the I think it's called like the azimuthal uh, projection of a globe. Um, yes, it's on a flat piece of paper, 2D. Um, and obviously, oh, the ice ring around it. Uh, that's not, it's just obviously, it's literally a globe 
squashed flat. Uh, the further south you go, the more distorted it gets. So say these trips between Sydney and Chile, which do happen, um, I think there's about nine times a week that uh, Qantas fly there. Um, on the flat earth map, the distance is twice as far as the globe um, the, you know the navigation that is done with the predictions of the globe or the knowledge of the globe uh, that alone just tears apart flat earth and people always say show us a model show us a map you know we, we might be able to start talking then um, you know but there is nothing uh, you know at the North Pole it will be quite accurate like I say the further you're going away it's going to start being so distorted that then you'll realise that this map that you're presenting as a flat earth map is not based on reality at all. Um, it's all wrong. Navigation is done on a sphere. Um, it is, it's It's just so sad that, you know, are you going to overlook this if you're a flat earther? Um, I did. Every piece of evidence or knowledge from someone within, you know, a specific area where they, they will have good understandings of where we live and you just laugh and mock it. Um, I've had a lot of people, a lot of disgusting people coming on here, to be honest. Um, you know, you'll probably watch this again and probably come and bash me again and say that I worship Satan. Um, words that I can't even say because, like, the video might get banned. You know, it's that, it is that bad. I never delete any comments that anyone puts, though, because I, I, I want people to see just how how disgusting some people have been towards me um it's vile vile behavior um and that just proves that they, these people are just angry um i've snapped back a couple of times i've got a guy that apparently has got a video coming out in january um and he's going to bring me down and he apparently he's screenshotted a lot of me uh so I'm, i am i am worried about being brought down <laughs> I mean, come on, like, and he's, he's one of these that, you know, thinks I'm some agent or, you know, do you know what I mean? Like, it's sad, it's sad. Um, right, I mean, the the pictures, um, I'm going to bring up some things where before, like, in my first, like, coming out video, I'm not a flat earther anymore. I said, like, I still don't believe the pictures and this and that. I've looked into it. I understand completely. Uh, some of them are, like, composite images uh, they're sort of stitched together, um, but I don't know. I don't. Uh, it's, it's hard to explain. Um, can you remember when like high definition television came out, uh, and some people love it. I I personally don't like, you know, all this HD. Like you know, just give me an analog television with the old pictures that just looked normal. Um, and I even used to say years ago, like these new films coming out, like they just they don't look real so i don't you know i can't get into them as much because they all look like a cartoon um and they're just ultra high definition you know they're picking up all these pigments that our eyes personally don't and then it's you know putting putting them on a piece of paper and then you do or on a screen that's what's happening when you guys go look how fake this is and it's just clicked like when you see the iss flying over which there is proof, it flies as fast as they tell us, um, people have filmed it, transiting across the moon, and um, the ISS is real. Um, but like, I've forgotten where I was going with that now. Yeah, the camera, it's an, of course it would be an ultra high definition camera. So when it's going over, it it's still like to me, it looks like, oh, it could be CGI or computer, but it's it's ultra high definition. It's like, 5k or 8k or whatever you know it's just probably it's one of the best cameras out there so it's going to be picking up everything and like showing it like this blowing blowing the picture up basically and that's what's happening here um it's it's not made up like that it's just it's just the way cameras are now you know is they they make colors look so vivid and so bright and and that's what it is i think um and that's why we're like oh no cgi cgi it's not, guys. It's just a really high-end camera. Um, I've got a few things here. Uh, flat Earth map was we've already got to. Um, one of the things that uh, Flat Earth talks about is um, 
you know, sort of heliocentrism was made up to try and hide the creator. Um, so this would imply that at some point there was proof of a creator or somebody knew that of its existence. Um, and then man has the power to hide it. Why would God let man hide him? I, that 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 is it doesn't make sense does it um a god would not allow man to override what he he wants um creation has got me in a bit of trouble um somebody said um you know see people have said well why to this guy why have you got a problem with him and he said the trouble is this man is now the poster boy of heliocentrism and he believes in creation um it's just a passing statement, really. I don't pray, um, I don't kneel to a god, I don't follow any religion whatsoever. Um, I know that the earth is as however billion many years as they told us it is. Um, I just think, you know, maybe a creator created evolution, the, the, the Big Bang, maybe they created that. Um, but that's as far as I go with it, like, I can't prove creation. I, I know that it probably doesn't exist, a creator. It's just my mind, you know, my mind wants to believe in that. Um, unfortunately, it wanted to believe in flat earth. Um, but uh, I don't know, should should I not believe in creation? I mean, I, I want to seek truth and speak truth here. Um, but I know there's a big line now in between these two sides of people. I've got like ball earth people who both, you know, obviously know the truth of spherical earth but they're fighting between each other um basically because i mentioned creation um, and i've obviously opened up a can of worms um but it's it's sort of like a is it philosophical i don't know it's just something that you know no, nobody will really ever know um until the second you die and you either die and or, and or something happens like or there could be a crater and nothing still happened. You know, we just don't know. We'll never know. But I just, I like talking about it. But I won't too much because, you know, and I'm not the new poster boy, by the way. Um, it sounded good that <laughs> it did make me laugh. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not. Um, stick with Brian Cox. He knows a lot more than me. Um, or Simon Dan, Conspiracy Cats, Fight the Flat Earth, any of you guys. Um, I've been watching hours of you all recently, um, and just it's, it's just brilliant. I love it. Um, it's just really kind of tying everything in now. I've still got so much to learn. Um, evolution, it's real. It, it, it exists. It happens. It's a definite. We evolved. It's happening now. Um, evolution is real. If you want to look into it, um, please do so. Uh, but I don't know the facts, but I've sought them from people that do. So go do so. Evolution's real. Antarctica, another one that was tripping me up. It's exactly what they say it is. Um, the Antarctic Treaty is just to try and, you know, have one place basically where we're not destroying, you know, just, it, it, it's it, that's all it is. Um... It's the size they tell us it is. People have gone from one side to the other. Um, it's just another part of the flat earth conspiracy. Obviously, that you know we have to believe something's happening in Antarctica because it supposedly circles the whole flat plane. Um, it's so the opposite of truth. You know, a massive circle that you can only circle inwards rather than like something really quite small that you can navigate around and it's 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 the it, look into that again but don't look at it from eric dubay or dm murphy look at it from someone that's traveled there um buy a book go to a library um people have done it you know they've witnessed it um right censoring of flat earth keep doing it keep doing it i'm so glad you are um it needs to be stopped um, and I'm so glad when I see these channels with such big numbers but their their viewer numbers are tiny um, and if you're a flat earther thinking well you know they're hiding the truth then they're not they're, they're trying to hide con men from you 
Um, so, so thank, thank you, YouTube. Do you honestly think like they, if they didn't, you know, if they wanted to, they could take down every channel there is um, that mentions flat Earth? But they do believe in a freedom of speech. But luckily, you know, some speech is damaging, and I know flat Earth is. Um, right, coming to the end of this one now, I think. Um, quick couple of mentions. Nathan Thompson has called me a shill. Thanks, Nathan. Um, I'm so glad you even know who I am. Um, we're going to bring you down, buddy. Uh, at least start asking some different questions other than ones you you, you do, uh, because it's getting tiring and very boring. Um, DM Murphy 25 he commented saying, I haven't researched enough, um, that meaning I hadn't watched enough YouTube videos. Um, I had, I'd watched hundreds of hours, especially of you. Um, I commented and tore Flat Earth apart within one comment, basically about the moon phases, and he didn't comment back, either because it, because he can't understand. Someone commented, you know, his <laughs> the moon's not what, what it is to him, to you. But, yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. I'm going to go live very soon. It's going to be pretty pretty soon um, i'm on my phone at the minute my laptop is being updated as we speak uh and we're going to carry on seeking truth and speaking truth uh keep coming back keep it global